Welcome back to the Green on Gift house. Um, we are back in the attic. And behind me you can see the new ductwork that was just installed by Sosby Services here in Atlanta, Georgia. The return, the supply plenum, all the way to the boots or the registers. So the only thing we're really saving is the actual air handler, the unit itself, which they did a thorough cleaning of. It was disgusting. The ductwork is really well sealed. You can see that it's laid out very well. Energy Vanguard and Decatur actually did the design for the system. Proper duct design involves having nice, clean, straight lines for your ductwork with minimal turns and bends, definitely no pinches. Wherever you have a takeoff or a Y or a split or a turn, you want to use hard metal pipe that minimizes turbulence and air friction. One way to think about ductwork is almost like your gardening hose. When you bend it too sharply, what happens to the water flow? It shuts off. Airflow through a duct is very similar. So you want to make sure that you're getting the air out at the end of that duct. And the reasons are energy efficiency, also just pure comfort. So when you look at some of these ducts, the air is not going to go to the bedroom. You're just going to lose it. So the performance of the system decreases. Your comfort will also be negatively impacted. And then we have this five inch filter slot so that rather than doing just a one inch filter, we can go with a much thicker filter that is going to be more efficient at removing pollutants from the air and it won't restrict airflow as much. So we'll get better performance out of the system. One of the interesting things we discovered was that the drain pan under the system was too small. It actually only covered about half of the air handler itself, when in reality it really needs to cover the whole thing. So Sosby installed a brand new condensate pan, which might seem, you know, not very exciting, but if there was ever a leak, this is going to be very helpful. One simple thing that a homeowner can do to help ensure that their system is operating properly is to routinely replace their filter. Filters are easy to forget about, out of sight, out of mind. Your typical one inch filter needs to be replaced anywhere from 30 days to maybe 60 or 90 days. The larger filters, you can typically get three to six months out of them. As they get dirty though, they will restrict airflow and actually make your system work harder, which can actually make it less efficient and increase your energy costs. That is why you wanna make sure that you're replacing them routinely. Thanks for watching. Please follow along at the greenongift.com website as we continue with the renovation as we start to enter the home stretch. The Green Shorts Greenhouse, covering what makes a greenhouse green.